so many people want to be like each other. It's like, how dare you be yourself? How dare you not be a carbon copy of everybody else? That's just not what I like. And that was just something that made me stand out. Michael's an amazing human being. He's kind, he's loving, he's giving. He's a fan of the underdog. But Michael is having a hard time. Middle school is a whole different beast. He was dealing with racial issues, people talking about his weight. They were just bullying me, like, up for over, like, anything they could find. It was rough. It wasn't easy. I just wanted to do something to cheer him up. I decided to surprise him with tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters, and I knew that he was going to be blown away um, just by watching the trick shots and all the fun things. When the lights went down and the music came up and he saw the players run out and they were doing their flips and the shots, and he lit up like I haven't seen him light up in a long time. You know, he just had a moment where he just got to be a kid and be happy and just set it aside. When we were leaving, Michael had wanted to buy a jersey. So I was like, can I buy one of the jerseys and I'll pay with my money? I chose Bulls. Was, uh, he's the one that interested me the most. Michael wore the jersey to school on Monday, and he was very excited, and I was excited for him. When he got home, though, I said, how was your day? And he just kind of like, oh, you know, he was like, they were making fun of me. I didn't want to get in conversations with anybody. I was just trying to get through school. And the next day, he comes in wearing the jersey again, and I'm like, OK. So I eventually pulled him in. I said, hey, Michael, do you think you might want to not wear it because, you know, if your kids are picking on they're going to pick on you more. And he's like, I don't care. I'm going to wear it. We hear from a lot of fans from around the world, but one day we get this email and this beautiful letter that his mom, Denise, had written to us about his trials and tribulations. He wore the jersey again to school today and kids made fun of him. They questioned his blackness, his style, and told him his jersey annoyed them. I asked him to give it a breather. He says, no, the jersey makes him feel awesome, empowered. When we read that, we knew we had to do something. Pay attention and give him all the respect that he deserves. At this time, I'm gonna introduce my special friend. His name is Zeus for Clerkin, and he's with the Harlem Wall Tribe. We heard something was going on with Michael, and it was right here in our backyard in Atlanta. We couldn't let this go unseen. We were in the neighborhood, and we got an opportunity to go to his school, and we decided to take action and do that. He's full of energy getting the kids all up, you know, talking about, you know, the bully situation. And then he talks about how he's doing it for his friend. A lot of people try to act like nice guys finish lives. If you're nice in this world, you're going to finish first. In fact, there's somebody nice in here right now. And his name is Michael. And like, you're not like I brought him up, and I wanted to kind of draw everybody's attention to Michael and let him know that this is going to be our teammate. We're not going to stand for bullying. Mike is one of my best friends in the entire world. I lost it. That's when I was like, oh my God, you know? That meant a lot to him because now it put him in a different light in front of his peers. It felt really good. It was really, um, it was really something. I was surprised a lot. I can relate to Michael and I can understand where he was coming from because I was bullied and I was picked on in middle school and even high school. It was just so, um, you know, here's my kid, and he's he's struggling, and um, he's dealing with something um, that could go really bad. Bullying is just so hard. 
here are these strangers who actually, they don't know him, they don't know me, and they are pulling out the stops for this kid, and they don't have to. You know, they could have just said, okay, thanks guys, and kept going, but in my eyes, they were saving his life, because you don't know. These Harlem Globetrotter jerseys, when we put them on, you know, they embody what it is that we've been doing for the last 93 years, and that's uh, spreading uh, positivity and, and joy in each of these communities that we're gonna touch. See that globe back there? Michael just became a part of our team all around the world. People are gonna give you a hard time for being yourself and just just having fun doing it, but you just have to keep on being yourself.